close for the Ducks. They'll be somewhat happy with where they finished, even though they didn't defend the title. 12 months looking towards the Olympics. And the race for the gold medal, men's Kieran. This is a star-studded field. Matthew Richards, Kevin Cantiero, Jack Carlin, Shinji Nakano, and the two riders from the Netherlands, Jeffrey Hoogland and Harry Leverdeson. Defending champion, the silver medalist from last year in Hoogland. Leverdeson is the defending champion. Hoogland as the silver medalist. Quintero as the bronze medalist. An Olympic medalist here in Jack Carlin. Matthew Richardson, more of a pure sprinter than a Kieran rider, but with his speed, anything is possible. Looking to go four in a row. The big man from the Netherlands, Leverdeson. There's a bronze medalist from last year. He's crafty. He keeps finding himself in these finals. Shinji Nakano from Japan. And then Jeffrey Hoogland. So he won the kilo last night. Got the speed. But can he take out his teammate, Lebrayson, the favourite? Yeah, we saw Jack there. And that was what that cheer was. Every time a British rider comes onto the track, there is a massive cheer. Fantastic home crowd here in Scotland. And he is from 14 miles down the road. Grew up on these boards. Knows them so well. Has he got the speed and the power to win gold? All right. This is it. Journey comes past. They'll start to slot into formation. Six riders behind the journey. And start to wind up. The men's Kieran final. Jeffrey Hoogland sits in front of Shinji Nakano. Then it's Kevin Quintero from Colombia. Second of the Dutchman, the defending champion, looking to go four in a row here in the Kieran. Harry Lebrayson, Matthew Richardson, one of the few riders in the last 12, 18 months that has actually beaten Harry Lebrayson in a head to head sprint. And at the very back is the young man who's from Glasgow. This is his home track, home crowd, inspired by that. Jack Carlin from Great Britain. Hoogland on the back of the bike. Silver two years in a row. Richardson starting to move up around the outside. Can't go past the journey, but he can sit there. Oh, touch of shoulders there as Hoogland went up in the bike. Ooh. You've got to be really careful. You're not allowed to go past the bike before it comes off. And Carlin was looking for the handbrake as he came through. Lebrayson up around the outside now. So while that was all going on, Harry Lebrayson said, well, I'll go to the front then. I'm the fastest man in the world. See if you can come past me. Lap and a half down the back straight. Lebrayson, Richardson, Hoogland. Then it's Carlin. Shoulder Ooh. to shoulder, coming to the bell. Long way around the outside for Hoogland. Richardson trying to fight back on the inside. And look at this, Kevin Pitano from Columbia. He's come from the clouds to go around the outside. You guys can fight for silver. I'll take the gold. Thank you very much. Quintero wins gold for Columbia. What a performance. We are focusing on the favourites. And last year's bronze medalist swaps it out for a gold this time. Gee whiz, he won by a mile. There was daylight second. Richardson for the second, second place. And then we have Nakano in the third. Wow. Both Netherlands riders missing out, and unfortunately local Jack Carlin too, but what a ride from Quintero Chavarro. That was absolutely like lightning. <laughs> wow. Well, it, you can't help but focus on Harry and Jeff and Richo's in the mix, and all of a sudden, you know, the guy that won the bronze medal last time, he's been in the mix several times in the past. He knows how to get himself into the final, and if you're good enough to do that, why can't you win? And that's what Kevin Quintero was able to do. Carlin, really close to being disqualified as the journey came off the track. And then Harry Lebrayson, and look at it barging of shoulders between those two in second and third position and then down the back straight coming from the clouds he certainly did and so he's he's won one medal at the world championships and it was actually yeah, as he said in the kieran bronze last year but this is his first world title and what a one to win how exciting for columbia look at them celebrating that was super special 24 year old from palmira in colombia as we say third last year but he did win the kieran at the nation's cup in milton last year he was second in the Kieran here in Glasgow in 2022 behind Harry Lebrayson. He continually puts himself in the hunt and that's why he's now the world champion. He was looking for a four-peat Harry Lebrayson and that did not happen. The man from Colombia has come out on top. Looks pretty cool, calm collected too. That is a massive win. That was, that was a huge gap. Oh. Let's have a look. Here we go. So We've got Lebrayson on the front. Yeah. There's a touch of shoulders here, so Richardson and Hoogland, but here comes Quintero Shavar around the outside with so much speed. Oh, disbelief from the coach from Netherlands. It's been a massive week of racing, and it's tough to keep backing up race after race. And I can throw it out there for the Dutch riders and say, well, they have had a huge program. Harry won gold in the sprint and team sprint. Jeffrey won gold in the...